Welcome and thank you for joining the latest edition of Jack Sports Zone inside Kevin Hall here at IUPUI. I'm your host, Thomas Butler Guerrero, and together with the Sports Zone crew, we are here to deliver all things Jack Sports, including highlights, interviews, and the up and coming schedule. Our men's basketball season comes to the end in the first round of the Horizon League tournament. The softball team begins the season in Alabama, the swim teams compete in the first duel of the season at the NAT, and the track and field teams both competed in the Horizon League Indoor Championships. Today we have some huge highlights from over the weekend, and with that being said, let's get right into the first highlight of the day. Our men's basketball team traveled to Milwaukee to face off against the Panthers in the first round of the Horizon League tournament. Mike DePersia got the Jaguars rolling early with a shot from beyond the arc. His hook. Both teams exchanged the lead through the first 10 minutes by concentrating their offense in the paint. But it was senior guard Jalen Minette who carried the team in the first half with this display of layups to bring the game within a single possession. IUPUI struggled to defend the paint as the Panthers began to pull away towards the end of the first half. And this three from Gary native DeAndre Golston put the deficit to its peak at 13. In the second half, Milwaukee's defensive presence was displayed as Goss gets stuffed here at the rim by Amir Allen. Junior Bobby Harvey drills a three to ignite a rally and was on fire shooting three for four from deep in the game. In this highlight, Goss gets the chance to avenge an earlier highlight as he gets the feed from Bakari Lestrep and slams the deficit down to 10. With seven minutes left, Marcus Burke nails the three to make it a two possession game. But the comeback was halted as number three Tejon Lucas adds an and one to his 22 point game. Burke has been money from mid range all season as he finishes the night with 12 points and three assists as you see this deep three made by Bobby Harvey. Harvey hits the three. With under five minutes remaining in a winner go home situation, Goss lays it up to cut it to a five point game. But the interior defense could not hold up against the Panthers. It was just a little too much too late as Manette gets on the board for the first time in the second half. And with under one minute remaining, he hits a late contested three point shot. The valiant effort eventually led to a tough loss for our Jaguars as they end the season with an 84 to 72 loss to Milwaukee. On Tuesday, the women's basketball team traveled to Michigan for the opening round of the Horizon League tournament to defend their title from 2020. IUPUI led the game from start to finish. As you can see, senior Macy Williams dominate her way through the paint for a couple easy buckets. The Jaguars outscored the Golden Grizzlies by 20 points in the paint during the game. Oakland tried to use the same tactics by focusing their scoring in the paint, but could never gain an outright lead during the game. The Jaguars shot over 50% from the three-point line. As you can see, this assist from Caitlin O'Reilly to Natalie Anderson for a corner three. Check out this impressive footwork by Williams as she shot 12 for 20 from the floor. And junior Rachel McLemore who splits the defenders for the and one and gets the bench hyped up. Up by 11 with under two minutes left in the third, Oakland senior Autumn Kissman rattles in a three to cut the Jaguars lead to single digits. But McLemore battles her way for another tough and one opportunity. The Horizon League player of the year finishes the afternoon with 28 points and 9 rebounds as IUPUI emerges victorious in the opening round of the Horizon League tournament with a final score of 86 to 64. Down the lane, count it, and a foul. Joining us today inside the Jack Sports Zone studio inside Kavanaugh Hall is three-time Horizon League player of the year Macy Williams. Macy, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing straight. Other than being a fifth seed, can you describe the biggest difference between last year's tournament run and this year? I just feel like not technically making it into the um, NCAA tournament. I just feel like for us as a team, it's kind of like a whole new um, atmosphere to come back into the tournament and just like um, there's not much like stress on us. It's kind of just like I said, just like a new process for us. So what aspect of your game has developed the most in your four years at IUPUI? Um, coming in my freshman year, I wasn't, I mean, I was a post, but I just felt like I didn't have like the strength, the height or the speed to be a D1 athlete uh, post player. So just kind of just working on that. And I mean, I was dominant with my left hand. So definitely working more on my um, right hand and kind of just learning more about the game and um, learning how to shoot farther away from the basket. Can you describe some of the most difficult in-game adjustments that you have to make based on how teams defend the Jaguars? Just 
for me getting better over my years, uh, more people would um, double me. So it's kind of like we really emphasize as a team inside out. So just like once they pass it into the post, just like looking middle and like um, seeing if there's going to be another defender or how I, or how um, the post players defending you and just seeing um, your outside shooters ready to like be ready to shoot the ball and just kick it out or we can always reseal. And is the expectation for this team different? You guys won the Horizon League tournament last year and gained your first berth at the March Madness tournament, but you guys weren't able to compete in it. So is the expectation for this team different? Are you trying to make it a little further as you host the semifinal and championship game? Like I said earlier, we technically didn't make it into the NCAA tournament, so we're still just trying to um, take it one day at a time and hopefully winning each game and coming in, um, playing how we play and just you know, always learning what we can do next to help us improve. You had won the Horizon League Player of the Year for a third straight year. What does that mean to you? I feel like just for me, it's kind of just nice to get myself and IUPUI on the map. Like, I mean, I can't get Player of the Year by myself, I feel like. So it's just like my whole team makes me look good. I mean, they pass me the ball so well. Or if I'm getting doubled, I'll be able to kick it back out and they usually um, make the shot. So it's just like, they always make me look good and just, yeah, just getting IUPUI and myself on the map. All right, thank you so much for joining us, Macy. Good luck to you next Monday against Milwaukee at home and the rest of your run this year as a senior. Thank you. Over the weekend, our track and field teams headed north to Fort Wayne, Indiana to face off in the Horizon League Indoor Championships. Senior Eric Hoffman finished runner-up in the 5,000 meter in the preliminary round with a time of 14 minutes, 52 seconds. Junior Josh Whitaker advanced to the finale in the 800 meter after finishing with the third quickest time, a season best one minute, 57 seconds. Our Jaguars raced hard to a fifth place team finish. Although our Jags didn't finish out on top, here's a highlight of freshman Mike Mitchell Gitz, who was leading the, five, who was leading the 5K through a few laps. Great job to all the men's and track and field athletes. On Sunday, our swimmers hosted Green Bay with men and women both competing here at the famous IUPUI Natatorium. Aubrey Wing took first in the 100 meter breaststroke, followed by Allison Walker taking first in the women's 200 meter butterfly. Our women's relay team swam strong in the 400 meter medley relay. And special shout out to Lauren Thompson, Aubrey Wing, Allison Walker, and Cassia Snyder, who made it possible to finish out the win for the Jags. The women's swim team took the victory over Green Bay 156 to 127. Our men's swim team started off great with Nicholas Dibley taking first in the men's 200 meter freestyle, followed up by Riley Lowe's winning the men's 100 meter backstroke. Unfortunately, it was just not enough to push the Jaguars through as they took a close loss to Green Bay, 132 to 150. Last Sunday, our women's tennis team traveled to DePaul to face off against the Tigers. Marta Krakowski delivered for the Jags, winning 6-2 in the first set and 6-0 in the second. Our doubles team displayed a great performance by Gabrielle Ochelik and Crystal Grubb winning their matches 6-0. These vital wins led to an overall Jaguar annihilation with a clean sweep, 7-0. Switching over to golf, our women's team hit the road to face off in the Kiowa Classic. IUPUI finished 29th out of 41 teams. Special shout out to Amelis Feira, who finished 15th overall among the field of 210 golfers. IUPUI men's soccer traveled to Chicago on Sunday to face off against the UIC Flames. IUPUI scored first on a goal from senior Matthew Scar before the 24 minute mark but couldn't hold the lead and lost a tough 2 to 1 match. Stay with us and we will be right back. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. Welcome back to the Jack Sports Zone. I'm your host, Sarah Legg. 
Let's go right in and see where our Jags plan to play this week. Our women's basketball team faces off Monday, March 8th, in the semifinals of the Horizon League Tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. The game will be aired on ESPN+. For more information, check out horizonleague.org. Men's and women's cross country heads to Carmel to race at the Horizon League Championships on Thursday, March 4th. We'll see if Jaguars can swim faster than Bears this Saturday, as we host a huge meet at the Natatorium at 1 p.m. Both our men and women's swim teams take on the Washington University Bears. Good luck, Jag swimmers. On Saturday, our women's tennis team will pack their bags for a short drive to Muncie, where they take on the Ball State Cardinals in a doubleheader. Playing their first game at 2 and another game at 5.30, we'll be sure to be rooting for our Jags. Be sure to tune in on Saturday at 2 p.m. to IEPYJags.com for live coverage and stats of our men's soccer team as they take on Northern Kentucky University right here at home. And also, don't miss co-captains Ethan Mardanis Budiono and Alex Joachim hit the road with our men's tennis team as they prepare for a doubleheader against undefeated 10-0 Northern Illinois University. Good luck, Jags. As always, it is a pleasure delivering Jaguar sports from Kavanaugh Hall. We hope you've enjoyed our highlights and interviews this week. Be on the lookout for us next Wednesday, and never forget, go Jags! <laughs>